hello everyone so our today's topic is a bit different so you know i have never talked about creating a library maybe i have done a video maybe you know, it's like three years ago and that was a very simple video about creating a library and how can you export that library to jpeg and at that time the library wasn't that big there was no dependencies that had used on that library and the library was pretty much open source so anybody can see your code they can fork they can do their own thing with that library but our today's task is is big different and today i am not supposed to create a library for uh that would be open source you know i will create a library which will be uh, accessible to any user i will share that library to check back but instead of sharing the raw code I will share the archive file, the Android archive file, and the code will be secure because I will use the mini file. Okay, and I will re I will basically share the release version of the archive file, not the debug one. So I am supposed to show you basically all the things, but not in details. Basically, uh, I'm pretty sure about that. You guys are already know about the basic Android, and let's see. Uh, I'm not going to create any sort of you know by any sort of code today i will just guide you how to do that things let's just start so this is the basic project i have created so in this project i have added a new module you do know how to create a new module you can go for new and you can just create a new module and when you select the module you have to select the android library i have selected the default one and here i am i have created the library so by mistake i have created the library the same name you can see my project name was or my application name was my library as well as my library name is my library so that not should be basically you should create a example project and in that project you will create the library module so uh, this is the wrong thing i have done and i am taking your apologies for that and in that library our uh, our main topic is all about with the libraries so I, i'm showing you the library so you can see in that libraries we have the source folder and before showing you the source i'm going to show you the module radio file okay so this is the radio file for the library and you can see in the top for being a library you have to provide an id that would be like com.android.library so that is basically the differences between the library and the application so let me give you the example of that am i saying the right or wrong just go ahead and you can see i am currently on the android structure mode and i can select so this is basically my library file this is the uh, these two are the module you know the first one is the app and the second one the library so for the app you can see the id is home.android.application and for the library the id is home.android.library and okay so that's it and i am getting back to the Pinter cradle and yes yes i am using the kotlin and that is why you can see the id kotlin running here and along with that i have created a basic published cradle along with the printer cradle so this is need to be created by you okay so for this video or for creating this library i have uh, followed a lecture or a medium file let me show you Okay, so uh, medium is not currently gonna load. So I will share that uh, medium file to you. Let's get into the video. Okay. So basically, why I have shown you the medium file because I wanna give you the credit for the video. Okay. So this is the line I have added, and yeah, and uh, what is that actually? So I will uh, let you know what is that. So basically, this is for publishing the graded file to the zip pack. Okay, so nothing else. And after that, so sorry, this is the build app gradle. So this is all every gradle file. So these things are the basic, you know, the uh, auto created things. And after that, I have uh, created two build types one is the default on the release, and second one is for the debug. And for the debug, I have new pineapple false, and for the release, I have new pineapple true. Along with that, these things, as you know, these are the auto created lines, and as well as these things are created. 
and for our library i do have need to use the directory free that the okay http3 so i am using the directory free json converter and the login interceptor for the login and the scalar things you know and along with that i am using the facebook text table so this is the uh, libraries or the dependencies that i am using into my library okay so well uh, why i have done that because uh, i do need these libraries because the thing i have created let me give you a very simple brief to what it is actually you can go for the fastest project so this is the project uh, i have implemented my library in this project i'm sorry uh, i'm actually sorry because uh, in this app uh, things are not that uh, you know glittering to show or things are not that fancy to be looked at i'm sorry for that so basically this text is clickable these are working like a button and what it does when you click on this text this is going to show you a new activity from my library and what it does in here i can see also there is a text view and this is also clickable and what it does when you click on that text view this is going to rule make a network call and update that text according to the network response so I, i'm clicking on that you can see my network response has arrived and the text has been changed to how to be click so this is actually uh what is we have created for the library okay right so i'm going for this uh code so what i have done i have uh, first of all created the application file and this is a very basic application file nothing else you can see i have created the directory instance that's it and i have one activity this is the activity class and what it does when you click on that text this is going to call the repo and get all the books from that so here is my repo class and I, I don't think i should show you the code of here because this is a this code is pretty simple so uh in my library what I, I i wanted to do i wanted to create a class which will be responsible for accessing all the things i am supposed to give the access from the uh well, you know the receiver or the consumer from the consumer okay so this is the class i have created for the consumers so what they are supposed to do they are going to call my library and after that they will call for any function from my my library class and what are this annotation for i am going to tell you okay so this is all about the product things when you uh, uh, when you save the minify true then the poet will try to obfuscate your uh, classes and the uh, function that the classes have so that's it about the library so i our next topic will be in manifest you can see in my manifest i have uh, use on permission and the name this is for the application class only nothing else and the export it is false because i want to start that application by default that's why the export it is false for my app the export it will be true okay you know it's pretty basic things so let's just go for the next thing so i will go for the progard first so what progard does in progard which as we all know in progard we have to uh, keep some classes that to be safe from program okay so the model classes and the class i want to be public for my library consumer so this is the thing that for the class and this line for the companion object you you have seen i have shown you the in here the companion object so this is for that and this line for the crash latex and blah 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 and the other things and one line for the tutorials so these are the basic uh program things and the next thing i'm supposed to tell you is about the publisher cradle and what the publisher cradle does so there are a few things you have to be careful about with the link to uh, group id so this is the id of your or the package name for your library this is the artifact id you know for a library you there is basically three parts the group id artifact id and the version let me show you in details so let's just go for my library that i have i am just showing you so this is basically the artifact id you can say the basically this is not artifact id uh, okay okay so you can just think like that this is the artifact id and this is the uh art sorry my mistake sorry for that this is the artifact id and this is the version and this is the group id so just, just, just let's just go ahead and 
everything has so this is the thing you should be careful of and the next thing is the artifact ID so uh, whatever name you are providing writing here your archive file will be the will hold the same name as well as the version your AP archive file will hold the version and the version name will be like that so all the codes right a written writing here is basically for the archive file okay so you can just go ahead and these are the very simple thing and the next thing you should be careful about from here is this line okay so in here you can see uh, i'm looking for the outputs and the archive file and the, then i am giving it the archive name so what would be the archive name so basically the archive name should be just like your library dash release dot ar or library dash uh library of the module name dash defect dot ar I, i'm going to show you how you should uh, get the name so here and this is the line which is respons responsible for creating the form so what is actually the form form.xml is basically this is responsible for creating the form.xml file so which is needed for uh, serving this archive file to the zip pack and i'm going to show you that to you soon so our code for the library is pretty much complete now i'm supposed to create the archive files as i have created the things already so i'm going to clean the project so what it does it will clean the build file build folder so now you can see the build folder is gone so basically the build folder will hold the archive file for us so what you need to do we need to clean the build folder before uh, releasing a new archive file to uh, for our library okay so after that select the library module not that module or anything else and just go for the cradle so you might not uh, get these things like task one configuration you will just get these two my library and app and they will not also hold the tax so for this thing uh, for creating the archive file you really need the tax folder right here so how you can get that so for that you have to go for the preferences and from that go for the experimental then after that please do uh if i'm not wrong yes so there should be a check right in here and what you have to do you have to uncheck that so that should be something like that before okay and what you have to do you have to just uh, uncheck that thing so sorry for that you have to just uncheck this thing and after that uh your tax folder will pop up right here just like me so what we'll do next so from the tax folder we'll go for the build folder okay in the build folder the first task we have is the assemble so what actually assemble does assemble really assemble our library for debug or release so if i just click on the assemble so that should go through some building and that will get us the build folder along with the archive file will hold the debug and the release board version so you can see these things are happening there is some warning shown but this is not a big part. so go for the bit folder and go for the outputs and here is the archive file uh, my archive name with just like my module name my library dash debug or my library dash release so this is the name I i'm using right in here you can see the build directory then the outputs and then the archive and then the release archive okay so can we just uh, host this thing the zip back no we can't if we are supposed to share the archive file by any other way not to the zip back then we can just share this library and that should be pretty much it but we are supposed to share our library to the zip back so what next the next thing that we will do we will create a github repo okay uh one thing i forgot to make sure uh we need to create the archive file along with the form.xml for sharing the project to the zip pack so how we can create the form file along with the shareable zip pack archive okay so for that you have to go for the publishing and after that go for the publish release publication to custom item repo so the name is basically elaborating pretty much the 
target or the, the hints or the wrong uh, basically it is giving you the the name basically elaborate the target of this task uh, okay so what you have to do we have to just tap on that and that that should generate the pointer xml file and use the shared over archive file that we will share to the seed pack so what it does it will create the repo folder for us it have also created the uh, publication folder for us but we will not create that we will go for the repo and after that i will i can see uh, i can show you that uh, you can see we have used the artifact id and the group id so the first form then the empty id and the my book library and then the artifact id and then the function they are basically uh following the way we have been defined before and after that for the first version we can go for the archive file so this is the archive file that is shareable to the zip pack and for the pom.xml so this is a pom that should uh, that is supposed to be shareable to the zip pack but uh, i have figured out there is something wrong with the pom.xml so i will show you what to do or how, how you should uh, rewrite the pom.xml so just go for the github and create a repo and clone that repo and after that things you what i have done right here so i have basically copied the archive file into the github repo along with along with that i am creating a zipback.yml and next thing i'm doing i am with the same name i'm creating a file it basically this is the instruction for the zip pack so what i'm supposed to tell them is please install my archive file and install the file that has the group id of com.mtdmylibrary that have i have uh, defined in my published operator file what is that sorry for that uh, that i have uh, defined in my published operator file you can see the same thing group id sorry uh, was lost okay so after that so just uh, don't do it don't do it let's keep it as simple as possible and uh, then the artifact id the final just like before the version just like before and i will show you the code you can just uh, get that thing and after that the final thing the form.xml so in here i have just copied the form.xml that have been generated from there along with that i have so i have just uh, copied this thing let me see copy the thing the same thing along with that i have added these two things the build and the dependencies what the build has we just see right in here so what is it is doing it is giving the map and plugin okay so for this library i am telling the thing that uh, it should basically look for the target 1.8 this is my this might be the java version java version and with that the map and plugin and the other things as like for building and besides that i am going for the dependencies that i'm using on the folder like i am using the kotlin and root text core and that's app compart material vector feed okay http kotlin x and some other libraries as well life cycle things that all so these libraries uh, you should mention right in here just like the maven file if you miss any sort of library when you will be you will supposed to uh, implement your library to other project there will be the error we can't really find the library right in here okay so this is the thing and we are done with that and after that you have to just go for the github and with the uh, I don't think I made this thing pretty well today. Like this thing, like this thing. Mm, just give me one sec. So uh, I have shown you before how to use the zip zip pack libraries. So I lost you. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, somehow my head is not working. And I hope this is this was the cool thing about uh, using the thing. And the next thing you are supposed to do, you are you will go for your zip pack, you will share the repo to the zip pack, and you will get the 
uh, with instruction from that and then use that thing to upload that and that's it i hope we're done writing here and i'll see you on my next video bye